So the first step in my project was gathering the requirements of what the Dutch bucket gardening system would need. And I figured that I would probably do 15 minute watering cycles about five times a day. So the first thing that I looked into was the water pump. And knowing that I was going to power this with uh, solar energy and I wanted to have the cheapest and smallest parts possible I needed to get a really efficient water pump. Now this water pump can pump about 230 gallons in an hour which comes out to be about four gallons a minute. Now that that would provide watering in a, using a micro sprinkler system for probably many Dutch buckets. I could probably have up to 15 or 30 Dutch buckets easily in my garden. Another requirement was since that this was going to be off of solar energy all my parts need to run off of DC power. So I had to make sure that the pump and all the components that I got were DC and I decided to do a 12 volt circuit so everything had to run off of 12 volts as well. Now that we know everything is going to be run off of 12 volt DC power, the next step was to figure out what kind of wire to get for a low voltage solar system like this. I found out that just regular stranded copper wire works the best for it and it works more efficiently than a solid solid copper wire used in like most house electrical systems. So I went to the home improvement store and got this 16 gauge just regular copper stranded wire and before I did that I had to figure out what size wire to get and I found this cool calculator at www.freesunpower.com and this what this calculator does is it calculates exactly what gauge what what size wire you need for an electrical system some of the things you needed to know are uh, how many amps your components would be drawing from the circuit and how long you planned on your circuit wire being I knew that my circuit wire probably wouldn't exceed about 15 feet, maybe 25. And since I did the research on my pump and figured that all out, I knew that this pump only takes an amp. So all I did was punch that stuff in and it calculated the, the size of wire that I would need. One of the most confusing things for me in this project was figuring out how to automate the micro sprinkler system and it's easy to talk about now that I figured it out but to kind of break down what this is is this is a weekly programmable timer and what it does is you can set a schedule it has an internal battery that keeps that schedule stored so I can have up to I think it's like 17 um, schedule items and you can say hey at this this time of the day turn on and at this time of the day turn off and it you can also select which day of the week you want it to do or every day of the week so after you set the schedule when it turns on it what it will do is it will the power that you feed it gets used to close a switch and that will then turn on your your pump or you know whatever you're feeding it with so hopefully that helps that like I said that was one of the most confusing things for me to figure out and it was kinda difficult for me to find it with the right requirements like I knew that I needed uh, 12 volts and DC so a lot of the stuff is really vague and one of the things that I'll point out is it it says 250 volts AC on here but that just means that it's rated to handle up to that amount of power so the the power that this thing can take it can take DC or AC sometimes on some of the components that are like this they they're not really that specific in the specification so it's kinda hard to figure it out um, but but this 
this uh, is doing awesome. I mean, I was really happy when I tested it for the first time. It just worked. So coming up next, and probably for me, not today, the sun is going down and losing light here. I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the, the wiring and maybe I could show you the, the wiring diagram for the switch because that's kind of complicated and I'll hook everything up so that I can show it working.